So here's three more minutes on whether human beings can evolve and whether or not we even should. This is a world. This is a world. Premiere. This is a world. So yesterday I posed this question and I was, I had so much trouble articulating what I was going to say, but basically my question was, are we evolving, basically evolving towards our, evolving towards our own destruction or are we evolving into the beings that we would need to be to prevent our own destruction? That was ba that was the basics of it. And oh, suddenly it got really, really loud. Somebody's like doing their their uh, mowing their lawn or something. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. It's the middle of winter. Anyway, keep them going right ahead. And so you know, there was different feedback, and um, I would say probably the strongest uh, response that I got was from I think G is for Gary, who talked about you know the fact that we're and G G is for Gary tends to be you know very nihilistic, very you know. Um, um, very nihilistic about things, right? Sees like we're heading towards our own destruction. But I have to think about myself, based on what? I mean, th that opinion, to, as far as I'm concerned, is no is no different than the opinion of religion, right? So what one is basing their belief that human beings are not capable of, cha for, of change. And then of course, you know, whose place is it to say whether or not human beings are capable of change, right? It's not necessarily in the interest of someone like, you know, even me, right? I live a fairly middle class existence and my existence is in many ways engendered by the violence that happens in other parts of the world. Many, many of us in Western society find ourselves, even if we're rather poor, right, li living a rather poor existence in a Western society, the society that we live in, the fabric of the society that we live in, is engendered by the violence that happens in other places in the world. And so it's not necessarily in our interest to express any confidence in those who would benefit most from a transformed society to but by having any faith in those individuals to create the changes to transform the world and to transform the world in time. We're so smart, right? We think we have all the tools where, especially, you know, in the United States, right? We're all powerful. We're the most powerful nation on the planet. We're going to, if we decide that we want to destroy the world, we're going to destro destroy it. And that's the hubris that we move through our lives with, right? Um, never believing that those who are, you know, the meek, never believing that the meek really could ever inherit the earth, not to use biblical terms, but um, I think in some, some, in some regard there is this utter lack of faith in humanity to be able to overthrow the agents of oppression, and I have to consider myself an agent of oppression, of oppression if I'm not out there, you know, throwing my life on the line to transform society. Really, that's it. That's three minutes. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and dinky I love myself.